Hey everyone, this is Joe from What I'm Playing Now. We are back at Origins 2018. I'm here with Philip, and you are from Board and Dice Games? Yes, from Poland. At, from Poland, okay, wow. Yeah. Well, welcome to America. How was your trip over here? How long of a, how long of a flight is that? It, it took us about, I don't know, uh, maybe 12 hours oh, wow. by plane. Okay. Then we, we uh, rent a car in Chicago. Oh, oh okay, yes, Chicago. Yes, <laughs> so we traveled to Lafayette. Okay. On the way to Indianapolis, we slept there. Okay. And then, second day we went uh, directly to Columbus to Afghar, set up our booth, and here we are. Excellent. All right. Well, welcome. Really glad to see this. We have um, an escape room game here yes. called The Awakening. Yeah. So, so tell us a little bit about this, please. So f first of all, uh, this game have few things that I need to mention before I start digging this okay. game. Okay. So four things we, we try to implement in an escape uh, room in a box type game is that this game have open exploration mechanic. Okay. Interesting. So, so uh, this game do not follow you from point to point, from card to card. You enter the location. Mm -hmm. You have action tokens. And now it's up to you how you will research that location. And okay. And how you will discover our, all clues, all puzzles and riddles. So it's almost like an adventure game. Yeah. Point, uh, point But with a puzzle component too. Yes. I like that. That's an interesting twist. And uh, <laughs> this game also uh, have engaging story. It uh, comes with a storybook. Okay. And... Uh, uh, we will see a short view of this game in a second. Okay. Uh, so the next step we want to make is that uh, we want to apply here a multiple endings. Okay. So this also leads us to that you can play this game more than well, once. Yes, nice. I like that. Yeah, it's always great. Because when you explore mm -hmm. location, uh, you, for example, go to the left side and start digging this left side. Okay. You, you find something there, you uh, resolve one riddle, and the the room says to you, the game says to you, okay, now you can leave this location to another. Okay. But you can still stay here and research more. It's All up right. to you. And if you progress um, uh, to the next uh, location right now, you miss like a half of the game. Oh, wow. Okay. And you can play again and see, other see that side. other half. Yeah, next yes. time. Yes, because uh, you could find things that could help you later, but it not blocks you. It okay. could help you. And also, we try to put to this game like from the PC uh, or uh, console games. So when you have an item, you could use it in that room combined with other things. Okay. But if you do not click that those things match okay you can skip it and okay and gotcha. and, and, uh, and the funny part that's what we want to reach is that when someone will be talking with other player who uh, entered this game and he the first player says that i reached that ending and i did that stuff and and the other guy said that did you if didn't try to use that item here <laughs> well, i didn't know you i didn't even think know. about it yes. yeah yeah so yeah that, uh, that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. The the that type of discovering the right. game and how how you can interact with the game. So yeah, multiple endings uh, and all decisions you are making in the game shaping the ending of the game. Okay, I like so that. So depends on how you explore, which this decisions you made, uh, which people you will met in that game because you will be. Uh, no, Meeting some characters inside the game. Okay. Uh, even even uh, decisions uh, or how you answer to somebody in this game will sh can shape the next location. Okay, so it's almost like like in, like you we were just saying playing a video game. They yeah. have you know like you can interact with an NPC and they can yeah. have multiple dialogues that could lead you to different places. Yes. Interesting. And different, okay. Different part of the story. If you uh, if you go um, through this game, let's say uh, right side. Right. Uh, you will never touch the information from the story that you can you can find on the right uh, left side, mm -hmm. and those you, you will see then that those information could help you make better decisions. 
So the more you play through the game, the more you're going to learn about the whole environment, yes. and then you're just going to start being able to piece it all together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and yeah, this is uh, those are those key features we want to implement into this game. What is a story behind uh, the game? Like on this picture, you see a uh, dad whose uh, daughter is in coma mm -hmm. for for no reason. So we all become that guy. So okay. So uh, Sam, he is raising his daughter. Lonely because uh, his wife pa passed away a while ago. Okay. Uh, and the, his daughter start, start to feel felt uh, very uh, weird and went to coma. Okay. And all bunch of doctors are was like uh, exploring and s uh, like see what is happening. He she's perfectly healthy, but she is still in coma. And they can't figure out why. Yeah. So so he uh, find article in a newspaper about some dad who, whose um, son was in this weird situation okay and he was like uh, writing that it was a miracle someone so, so he decided to uh, find this guy and talk about what 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 he did that he w woke up his son so he met and that guy followed him a book okay but he said that before you judge me Take this book, read it, because this book contains a, a ritual of the awakening okay. that can uh, put you in a, in a dimension when you can find oh. your daughter. In, wow, that is an interesting story. That's, yes. that's very heavy and deep as well. Yes. That's very yes. thematic. Yeah. We, we, we want to like, we want from people that they will uh, that, that, they, that they will cut off from the, the surroundings yeah. and focus on the story. And it sounds like that's going to evoke a lot of emotion as well. Yes. And it's yes. gonna, the story's going to pull you in and you're really going to... Uh, Reach the end. Yeah, you're, you're going to really probably feel like the, you know, the father and the pain he's probably going through. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as you will see in uh, minutes, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but also um, we want uh, from this game to be... Uh, one step further. So there's a lot of uh, reading uh, during during the game uh, when you are researching, uh, and the story is not just uh, like a sticker okay. to the mechanics. You need to read to make a better decisions. All right. So you cannot like skip and just take right. this card. You need to dig in to that okay. story. So it's not like some video games where you just keep pressing the A button or the X button. You're just yes. skipping past yeah. all the dialogue. Okay. You need to read Come everything. On. Yeah. <laughs> you need to read everything because maybe somewhere there is a very uh, and so there's like a hidden clue. Uh, yeah, hit uh, that will help you make better decisions during, okay. during the game. And there is no punishment in the game. We we like put away uh, time. We are put away punishment for getting uh, hints and how many, for example, cards you need to resolve that clues. Okay. So you can focus on a story. Interesting. And, and you will be your you you will judge yourself at the end of the game if this ending. Is what you wish to. Is what you are aiming for. Right. Yeah. So after that, you are like, I, I, I need to play it again because I'm. I want you to want to see what other endings are. Yes. You, yes. No. I. Yeah. No. The replayability sounds incredible with this game. Yeah. <laughs> like like no one uh, believe us in uh, when when we are uh, speaking about escape game and you can play it more than once, but uh, after they play this okay i see how this <laughs> how this uh, can be done in this game okay yeah. and this is escape tales the awakening and we want to make a line of escape games okay mm, uh, so escape tales is the uh, top name and there will be the awakening and other and other other series to follow basically yes. like other storylines yeah exactly okay. so now we can try this game okay let's give it a shot all right so because I already tell you how the story looks, so we don't do not have to read the whole story, but we will jump to this paragraph. This this paragraph open a tutorial room for us. All right. You can also skip a tutorial room and go straight to the base game, but do not spoil okay. anyone from, <laughs> from from the base game. 
please, uh, because you have the better voice dialect <laughs> oh, and you. you know English better than me. You can. Your English is quite well, let me tell you. <laughs> Your English is very good. Thank you. <laughs> Probably way better than my Polish. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to read P024. If you want to go through the tutorial and learn the base game mechanisms, so P P024. We're going to flip over to there and you're going to you feel ready and you're sure you need to do this. You believe now that's the only way to help Lizzie. You step down into your basement holding an occult book that you've recent that you've received from Mark. You drop down to your knees in the middle of the room and you start to search for a page containing the awakening ritual ritual. There's no going back now. So I'm guessing we now have a decision yes. to make over here. So you need to resolve all all of these, all of these yeah. over here. So we're going to take location cards L05 and L12. Yep. We're going to take card C99. And as you can see right now. Yeah, it's basically setting up almost just like. Yeah, this is a small picture of that big picture. <laughs> right, right. So also it helps you uh, set up the location. Cards. Okay. Now, you will be using this uh, this map to explore this big picture, and you will okay. be looking on this big picture to find maybe some clues where to go next. We can read. All right. So we're gonna take six six action tokens. Yeah, we, those blues, and we will be using to mark where we want to go. Okay. And when we put a marker here, we need to read a paragraph fifteen. All right. And of course. There is one action that will need to be taken. Okay. So we we put this marker on section B B two, and read paragraph nine. Okay. So do we do paragraph nine first? Exactly. Okay. So P nine is going to be your hands are shaking when you turn the pages. You're fully aware that what you're doing here isn't natural, and no one with the right mind should be doing something like this. But you've already set your mind to anything. But but you already set your mind to anything but normal. You finally found the page you've been looking for. The instructions in the book are written vaguely, but you've managed to understand them. To finish the ritual, you will need few things, something to draw on the floor, a natural light source, and something to close a heart of a person who is going to be awakened. The first two things shouldn't be hard to find. Chalk will always, was always near the desk, might be in one of the drawers. You've hidden candles next to the ammunition last time, but you don't know yet about the last thing. Yet you start to look around, maybe something will show up. Take card 17. So we take card 17. And we have the book, and here we have icons, so if we find tools with those symbols, we will be on the way to read a paragraph 107. Yeah. Okay. So now, as I said, there is open exploration. Now we need to think where to go, where to, where we can find clues. All right. So probably the desk would be one thing. So I'm guessing like P014, because yes. that's where the drawers are, it looks. Yeah, so let's put an action marker here. Okay. And P14. So you're going through the drawers in search for a piece of chalk. You're pretty sure there should be some here. The search was unsuccessful, though. But there is still one left. The one containing all your personal things. It's locked with a key for safety purposes. Chalk must be in there. It wouldn't be the first time that you've put it in that one by mistake. So now... We take card C122. So that card says, once you have card C012 in your possession, I can read P026. So we need to look more. All right. So maybe let's go. So there are some um, things written. Yeah, some written. writings on the wall. So we can, like, research those things. All right. So let's go. Let's go two first. Let's see what's up on the wall there. P02. Right. P02. So. One of Lizzie's word riddles. She used to draw those everywhere whenever she come, she would come here with you. While you were working on some projects, she asked you to keep this one and asked you to promise never to wash it off. Apparently, this one was significant to her, but she never told you why. So now we take card 11. So now, on this card you see in top... Uh, bottom right corner we have a symbol this okay. is the moment when you open an app oh so there's an app that goes with this yes okay but 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 an app is only for take hints and put answers okay 
So we find we are looking for this symbol. Now you need that, that that first hint you have is that the answer is built from three digits. Okay. We you can always ask for how many cards you need. All right. To even like try to attempt. Okay. Perform this uh, 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 riddle. So we know that we have only one card and we need two more cards. So let's research more. All right. Well, that's maybe then let's look at the ground over here. I guess let's do P15. Yes, because there's, cause there's more. more writing there. Okay. So P15. So P15, you remember this one, Lizzie's treasure map, or so she'd like to call it. The riddle on the floor was always more of a trap than a map for you because you had to jump over it every time you were passing through this area. And whenever you forgot about it, she showed you her hissy fit in the most adorable way. It's outstanding that after all this time, it's still in perfect shape. So it looks like we take card 89 now. Yeah. Oh, and, and we have a second card yep. from the same group. So out in the wild, there, there the is debris. mild. Mild. I spot something black and white. Oh, what a beautiful sight. And here we have a grow in the desert. If you get close, need a little rain. I might cause you pain. So I grow in the desert. I need a little rain. If you get close, I might cause you pain. Okay, so that's possibly a cactus. Yeah. So because there are also drawings there. All right. Maybe. So P75. P75. So we're going to flip the book over and find P75 really quick. Got to flip a couple pages. And there we go. Lizzie's toy box with a word riddle next to it. You try to open it, but it's closed with a colorful toy lock. You push the button randomly, but it's no use. You try to simply rip it off, but for a small toy, it's pretty resilient, resistant. Even landing few kicks doesn't help. You guess you will have to find another way to open it. Up. Inside, you might be able to find something beloved by her. 101. So we have the last one. Okay. So let's try to resolve this riddle. So it looks like we have some different animals as well as cactus. I see ladybugs, horses, and zebras, maybe? Yeah. Cactus, horses, zebras, flies. And here we have another. With red body around and in face so black with some dots on my back. Okay, so that would be the ladybug. Yeah, I believe is what she's referring to there. He, here are uh, zebras, mm -hmm. and here cactuses. Right. So how to build an uh, answer from those hints? I'll let you help me out with this one. Yeah. So, for example, uh, we because we have uh, ladybugs, and only two ladybugs are here. Okay. We have a zebra, so we have. So we have four, four zebras. I and, see. And okay. cactus. Two, four, three. Yep. Two, so four, now three. we have two, four, three. Yep. But in uh, which combination? Take a closer look on on this. On the lock. lock there. And you see three there's, colors. Yeah, there's three different colors. Okay. And you need to mm, like set up oh, those I see. numbers. Yes, 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 yes. In that combination. Okay, so it looks like white is first. Yeah. So the ladybugs would be first. So that'd be two. two. And then it looks like yellow is next. So that Four. would be the zebras. And then it looks like you got the blue next, which is up there, which is the cactus. So that would be the three. Yeah. Okay. And no. Oh. no. Oh, what's? There we go. Two, yeah. four, three. So we're looking on the app. Two, four, Check. three. Check. Read P. So now we got to turn to P56. And P56 is after you press the right code on the lock, it opens up. When it happens, you feel very proud, not because you've managed to figure out the configuration, but because your daughter was managed to hide it so cleverly, and she did it at the age of eight. That fills you up with even more drive to see this ritual through. You can't let her in such a state. Inside the toy box, you're able to find her favorite toys. It's time to choose the one you think is the most important to her. And take card. Uh, so we take cards 11, 89, 11. and 101. So we take all of those cards. Okay. And we take 117. Oh, 17. Yes. Yes. Okay, I see how this is working. This is interesting. But this is uh, one of the in interesting things that I told you that you, ne you need to make a decision. Right okay. Now. And first read that. Okay, you take a glimpse inside Lizzie's treasure box and you're pretty sure that everything in here 
is really important to her, but you must pick a single object. So we have a teddy bear and a crayon. And depends on this decision, the you will end a tutorial room okay. in different Okay, ending. okay. Yeah. Which will lead you then into the next phase of the, the yeah, game so basically. Basically uh, to the first location right, from the right. base game. So you start a game. Yes. But you can start a game uh, after a tutorial room differently. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, even based on the item you choose. Even Interesting. even That's even, cool. even even if this is a tutorial room, still you need to you, you will make some decisions right that could influence the beginning of the basic game. Yeah. You can skip uh, the tutorial and start from the basic game. Right. It's okay. There are not that that it maybe could be not so efficient. Right. Depends on how you end the tutorial room, but you will end the game even if you start just from base, straight okay. from the base game. Right. So even without a crayon or the teddy yeah. bear, you can still get to the end. The ending might be a little bit different if you started with one of these items. Yes. So it's going to change the game. That's that's really cool. I really like this. This is really interesting. Yeah. That's, and the story, I think, is very interesting as well. I mean, it seems like it's a very, you know, deep subject. Yeah. Yeah. You know? We we want like we want from board games to touch very um, deep subject like we have uh, in uh, uh, now like from Polish uh, designer Michal Orach we have uh, this war of mine mm -hmm. the game about uh, su survivors yes yes so the people not that is a very emotion evoking game yes yes so I think people want to like try to like. Uh, touch and play the, mm -hmm. such kind of games because they want to go deep. Right. Not only yeah, play for, uh, for points, uh, but also, you know, like, uh, this is like reading a good book. It is, it is. It's, it's, it, and it's drawing you into the story as well. Yeah. I mean, so it's 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 almost like you know, besides being like an escape room, it's helping you escape into the story yeah. actually. And rather than escaping in this game, you are you are looking. Right, right. For. And also, we want from um, from your decisions to be a logic decisions. Okay. Not you are just go there and find some riddle. Right. That here, as you as you saw, you could connect things, where right. to go and where to find next part of the clues. Based on those drawings, mm -hmm. so yeah, we we want from the people to feel like uh, like in normal life. Like right. The logic leads them, and they um, uh, receive results, good results right. based on a logic thinking. Okay. Now, when is this going to be available? Um, the worldwide premiere will be during this year. Okay, this, excellent. This game will be published in three languages uh, from uh, the beginning and we are uh, of course talking with other partners Okay. Uh, because there's a lot of interest from uh, publishers in this game. Alright, All right. well this is The Awakening. We're going to clear this off the table and we got one more game we're going to show you. Yeah. Alright, so we reset the game or the table here and we're back with Philip and we are looking at 5 Minute Chase this time. Give us a quick overview of what 5 Minute Chase is. So the 5 Minute Chase is a real time asymmetric game when one player is chasing the second. Okay. So the runner is playing those city tiles and try to find his way mm -hmm. out from the city. The uh, chaser is trying to catch, catch him in the real time. So this is a tile playing real time game. Okay. And each of us will have a different approach to this game because this game it takes five minutes we will gonna play it right now <laughs> okay sounds because, good because this game we call it is chaotically fun <laughs> if it's real time those are usually chaotic so yeah. so let's, <laughs> let's see let's give it a shot all right so let's say for the first round you will be chasing me okay so my goal is to finish my game in my hideout all right but before that, I need to collect on my way map, bag of cash, and keys. Okay. After that, I will be able to perform this uh, hideout. And if I did, I win. With, I run with a success. Okay. Uh, but in the same moment, you will be chasing me. So what is your job? Before I will go uh, deep, uh, deeply uh, how you play a new tile, we will play when you are chasing me, right. so I will explain you only your task. 
And then when we switch the rules, I will explain you okay. how to play a new marker. Sounds fair. All right. So your goal is to use those markers and pl place them on those tiles one after another, starting from the tile that is near to the prism. First, you need to know that each tile is split on four sections. Each sections have their own symbol. Mm -hmm. You can find here. Yep, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing the symbol matching. And red one. Okay. Each uh, section have also some faces pointing in different direction. So, which uh, marker you need to put here? Uh, of course, correct one. How to put a correct one? First of all, you need to look on uh, this tile and say in which direction I'm going. Because this tile is attached to this one, I went that way. Right. So now you need to mark a section with most faces pointing that way. Okay. So one face, so in this section, two faces. Right. Two faces in that section, zero, zero. So when there is a tie, this or that is a correct answer. So you play, for example, a star. Okay, and you just put that in the center of the tile then? Yeah. Okay. Then you move to the next tile, and here you see that I went that way. Okay. So you look for the section with most faces pointing that, that way. way. One, one, two, two, zero. Yep. So, so the I, ma so majority I, is here. So I would throw the square on there. Yes. Because the square matches that. I see where you're going. Yeah. Okay. But... Uh, no, you, had to, you had to throw the button there. Yes, yes. <laughs> there's always a twist. Yeah, there's always a twist. When there's a distance between us by one tile, uh, this is the moment you can st uh, block me. Okay. To block me, you need to mark a section with most faces pointing in opposite direction. Okay, so it would be that direction. So it would mm. probably be this one right here because those two faces, so I'd throw the star down. Yeah. And if you manage to play this star before I will add a new tile. New tile? You, I would stop you. Yeah. And okay. then we check if you did any mistakes. If not, you will score a point. But if you did, I will score a point. Interesting. Okay. And then what's the? I see we have score points there. I'm guessing. Yes. What do you play? To, what do you play up to? Uh, so the first player who reach uh, three, three? Okay. silvers, one gold, one silver, or two gold win the game. Okay. I as a runner can reach can when I run with a success, I score one gold. Gold. Okay. Uh, it's not easy. That's why I'm scoring gold. Okay. When you uh, catch me, you can score a a silver. silver. Okay, makes sense. And we switch our roles yep. after that. Yep. And after each round, you kind of yeah. like switch roles. Got it. So at the beginning of the game, I will take both stacks and create my two stacks that are equal. Okay. Then I take random two tiles from this basic stack. And I create my first two steps in the city. Okay. After after I when I revealed them, you can start chasing me. Okay. So it will be better for you to place this microphone right. Okay. Because I'll just hold. I'll try to just okay. hold this, and I'll, I'll do one hand. We okay. can we can try to do this. Okay. So on one two. Okay. One. So now, I can start putting the tokens down once you set these down. Yes. Okay. All one, right. Two. Okay. You're good at this, I can see right now. Star. This. Your phone down. It's a tie, I'd say. So we're going to throw that down. That. Okay. Oh. Okay, I have my first item. Wrong. Actually, I think I messed up here. This should be this. Should be this. Can I take it off yes. and put it back on yes. if I made a mistake? If I notice a mistake? Okay. <laughs> wow, this is rather hectic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see if I have any of these wrong or if I have them right. Okay. 
Oh my, oh my god, I, I will go. We're, we're running off the table space. Yes. <laughs> uh, I have I have map, so I have my bag of cash. And I need to turn. Should we slide this down a little? No, bit? no, okay. no. Oh, okay. I, I managed to avoid it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That was a triangle, I think. Oh, I thought okay. I had it. I thought I had it there for a second. Square. It's getting worse for me because I have less. Square. All right. Okay. So you, I, we don't got to know if I'm, all, I'm perfectly correct here. So so check my work. So <laughs> yeah, there's an easy way to check okay. uh, how to do that if you are correct. We will be flipping those tiles. Okay. And check this side. Okay. Plus. 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 Gotcha. Yes. Oh. Okay, so it's got a little check in there for you. Yeah. Interesting. Good. So far, so far I'm okay. 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 No. Oh, I messed up halfway through. No. So what let's see. Miss? Two faces Two versus. Faces. Oh, I did pick the wrong one there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got reversed there. I think I got flipped around. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, got, I almost made it halfway through though. Yes, yes. That's interesting. Okay. So now, That's crazy. Now let's see, and then I will be uh, holding a microphone. Okay. And you will be, <laughs> you will be um, trying to, yeah, trying so to be. Few few rules on how you can, and how you cannot play uh, tiles. Okay. So first of all, roads need to match. Okay. okay? So the road, yep. You that makes sense. Like that. Okay, makes sense. That's easy. That's an easy rule. Yes. The second easy rule, rule when you uh, explain this game, but no, not when you are playing, mm -hmm. is a police cars. So the police cars need to be always nearby trees. Trees? Okay. Yeah. So for example, if I want to go that way, right. I need you to need find to trees. a tile gotcha. with road with trees. Road and trees. And it doesn't matter if police will be first or the trees will be first. Right. They need to go together. Like, like here, yep, I attach the police yep, yep. to tree. I got gotcha. you. I'm so, following you. That's so, so tree to tree is okay. Empty road to empty road is okay. Tree to empty road okay, is so okay. Okay, so tree to tree is good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's tree perfect. Tree to empty road. <coughs> so everything but uh, not police to police. Okay. Police to empty road. Okay. Always police with Always the Always police tree. to tree. Yeah. That's not that bad. All right. Let's so see. So the roads match and police to trees. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. All right, so I'm going to hand you the microphone. Yeah, I again shuffle the whole stack. Okay. I will split it into halves. And I will give you those. We'll yeah. slide those over so there. So what is important, you grab the whole stack and you can go through the whole stack. Okay. In any moment, you can Set that stack down and switch to the other stack. Gotcha. Back. Okay. All right, because, that makes sense. Because I'm good at this game, I will give you one more tile. Oh, okay. So you, you. We have, you will have more distance. There we go. And All right, so are we ready? So we're going to go there to there to go. there, and then I need to go. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now I need trees. That one does not match. That one should. So you're really trying to find. A way what to match, add a way yeah. to add the tile that has the different icons on there to get to the house, like you said. I almost I, oh man, you're how did you do that? I need trees real quick here. Oh, and that's not. <laughs> <laughs> now if I can go that way, so I can. You got me. This is I was gonna put that down. Okay, you've played before though. <laughs> <laughs> like a I hundred. like that though. I like that though. That you're right. That is that is a little frantic. It is a little hectic, but um, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, you feel like you are being chased. Yes. You, you know. You feel like I'm coming. Right. I'm coming. Yes, and you yeah, start. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah you're cats. starting to like. Okay. I need to find the card, and I like the way you have to match some of the different iconography. 
Um, very easy to learn, very yes. easy to pick up. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you were able to teach that in like 30 seconds. Excellent. And the best part of this game is that this game is from two to four players, and the game change depends on how many players are playing. Okay. So, a uh, three player game looks like that. Is one player is chasing, a two player are escaping, but, okay. but they are escaping losing, uh, using one uh, line. Okay. One player, one uh, runner have one half of a stack, and second runner have a second stack. And they need to play tiles one after another. Okay. So you need to play a tile, then the, I'm yep. able to play a tile. I gotcha. So we need to communicate because I need to like give me three right. or give yeah. me the play items. Come on, dude. So Hurry each up. person would have their own stack then. Yes. And so you don't know necessarily know what your what your partner has. Yes. And yeah. so yeah, you definitely need to communicate to work together. Yeah. I can see that wow. That yeah. would be even more hectic, I think. Yeah, and and, and, and <laughs> during that we can uh, switch our stacks. So oh, okay. I can give you mine. So, you okay, so you can switch stacks to actually see what type of cards over there and everything. Because yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Because you may see something your your partner may not. Because yes. everybody sees things differently. Yes. Excellent. Yes. And the four player game is the, the most craziest one because <laughs> two players are escaping in opposite directions from the prison. There are two chasers, but to run with a success, uh, the runners need to collect all together three items. Okay. So not separately, but they need to meet each other on the distance of one tile. Okay. And fill that gap with the correct uh, hideout. Uh, okay. So you don't only need to think about items, but all, also think about how we will met. Right, right. Together after we collect yeah. those, because we work together, and we need to uh, like met meet up it. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To finish the game, interesting. That's cool. Five minute chase. Hey, that's a neat little game there, Philip. Thank you very much for thank letting so me interview much. today. Thank Hope you, so you have a good show yeah, and a safe is. trip back to Poland. But we will be back here at Origins 2018 with some more stuff coming up. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.